Hey there! Welcome to our channel Kids Step by Step, where we bring you the most amazing footage and top interesting questions from the world around us. Today's intriguing question is, what happens when lava meets water? Have you ever seen molten lava flowing like a river of fire? It's a mesmerizing sight that showcases the incredible power of nature. But have you ever wondered what happens when this fiery torrent meets the water? Does it sizzle and steam? Does it vanish into thin air? The truth is both fascinating and surprising. Join us as we dive into the science of lava flows, separate fact from fiction and explore what actually happens when these two elements collide. We will also answer some frequently asked questions along the way. You won't want to miss this. First, let's start with the basics. What exactly is lava? Lava is molten rock that originates from the Earth's mantle. When magma, which is molten rock found beneath the Earth's surface, reaches the surface, it is called lava. Different types of lava have different compositions, which can vary depending on the source of the magma and the amount of silica present. Basalt, for example, is a type of lava that is rich in magnesium and iron and has a low silica content. Andesite has a medium silica content and rhyolite is high in silica. The viscosity or thickness of the lava also varies depending on its composition. Silica content plays a crucial role in determining the explosivity of an eruption. The higher the silica content, the more viscous the lava and the greater the potential for explosive activity. Lava flows are driven by gravity and they travel down the slopes of volcanoes. The speed of a lava flow depends on several factors, including the viscosity of the lava, the slope of the terrain, and the distance traveled. Generally, the hotter and less viscous the lava, the faster the flow. However, it's important to note that lava flows can move surprisingly fast. On steep slopes, they can reach speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour. That's like a car driving at highway speeds. The destructive power of lava flows cannot be underestimated. They can destroy everything in their path, including trees, buildings, and even roads. Hot lava can reach temperatures of over 1,200 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to melt rock and metal. Lava flows can also have a devastating impact on human life and infrastructure. In 1980, for example, the eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington State, USA, resulted in the deaths of 57 people and caused millions of dollars in property damage. While lava flows are known for their destructive capabilities, they also play a significant role in shaping the landscape and creating new land. As lava flows travel over the surface, they can create interesting geological formations and new ecosystems. Over time, these lava flows can even become home to plants and animals. Now that we've covered the basics, let's address some common myths and misconceptions. Can lava be put out with water? No, lava is molten rock at very high temperatures. It is impossible to extinguish lava with water. Instead, water can cause steam explosions when it comes into contact with hot lava. Does lava flow uphill? No, lava flows downhill due to gravity. However, it can travel long distances and even change direction due to factors such as the shape of the terrain and the viscosity of the lava. Can lava melt everything? No, not everything. While lava is extremely hot and can melt rock and metal, it cannot melt everything. Some materials such as sand and gravel may not melt but can be hardened by the heat. To better understand lava flows, 
scientists use drones equipped with thermal cameras to measure temperature and gas sensors to analyze the composition of gases emitted during an eruption. By studying lava flows, scientists can gain insights into the behavior of magma chambers beneath the Earth's surface and predict the likelihood and intensity of future eruptions. They can also use this knowledge to develop strategies for mitigating the risks associated with volcanic eruptions. In conclusion, lava flows are a truly amazing natural phenomenon that showcase the immense power of our planet. From their formation to their destructive capabilities, Lava flows have fascinated and terrified humans for centuries. By separating fact from fiction and exploring the science behind these fiery rivers, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the forces that shape our world. So the next time you witness the sight of molten lava flowing like a river of fire, Remember that you are witnessing a truly spectacular display of nature's power. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you're eager to learn more about lava flows and other fascinating geological phenomena, we suggest checking out the additional resources. You will find a link to them in the description below. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the fascinating world of geology. Keep asking questions, keep exploring, and stay curious. Until next time, farewell.